How does it work? Latitude and longitude. Let's look at how latitude and longitude work. Let's look at latitude first. So on the left-hand side of this image, you can see how the latitude system works. It starts at the equator, which is zero degrees of latitude, and it increases as you go north or south of the equator. And so it goes up to 90 degrees at the North Pole or negative 90 degrees at the South Pole. You could also say 90 degrees north or 90 degrees south. But when you're using a computer, they tend to like pluses and minuses. But if you're using D2L, then you have to use a negative if it's in the Southern Hemisphere. But don't put the positive sign, don't put a plus sign because it won't like that. Okay, so we measure it north or south, and it turns out that one degree of latitude on the Earth is equal to 69 miles or 111 kilometers. And that's just because of the size of the Earth. Now the latitude is marked off by the lines that run from west to east across the globe. These are called parallels. And they're called parallels because they run parallel to each other. And they're marking off distance north or south of the equator. Now the confusing thing about parallels is that they run east-west, but they're marking off distance north-south. So they're kind of like the lines on a football field. The 30-yard line is marking off all the points that are 30 yards from the end zone. Just like the 30th parallel is marking off all the points that are 30 degrees from the equator. There are also several special parallels. Uh, these are ones that have to do with where the sun is at various times of the year. So in addition to the equator, which is kind of a special parallel, you have the Tropic of Cancer, which is 23 and a half degrees north. And that's as far north as the sun can be directly overhead in the summer. And then you have the Arctic Circle, 66 and a half degrees north. And then you have the Tropic of Capricorn, 23 and a half degrees south. And the Antarctic Circle, which is 66 and a half degrees south. So those are just some special lines. So the lines run east-west, but they are marking off distance north or south. Now on the right-hand side, you can see the longitude system. And the longitude system starts with zero degrees longitude, which is called the prime meridian. And the prime meridian runs from the North Pole to the South Pole and right through Greenwich, England. And that's the zero point of the scale. And then we can measure east or west from the prime meridian. And east is positive and west is negative. So that's the way that the longitude system works. And in this case, it goes all the way around to the other side of the Earth, which is 180 degrees. So longitude can go up to 180 degrees, whereas the latitude only goes up to 90 degrees. Now, the longitude system is marked off by meridians. Meridians are lines that run from the North Pole to the South Pole, and they converge at those poles. So one degree of longitude is not equal to 69 miles or 111 kilometers, except at the equator. As you go north or south from the equator, then those meridians get closer and closer together until they actually converge at the poles. By the way, the secret number today is 42. Now sometimes when we're giving latitude and longitude, we need to get more precise than just giving it to the nearest degree. So we use degrees, minutes, and seconds. So a circle is 360 degrees. Each degree can then be divided into 60, uh, 60 minutes. And those minutes are 1 60th of a degree. And they're marked by a single mark up uh, to the right of the number. So uh, kind of like the f same thing that we use to indicate feet. But in this case, it's minutes. And then each minute can be further divided into 60 seconds, which uh, you leave two marks up there to indicate seconds. Uh, 
Now these are not time minutes and seconds, they are arc minutes and seconds. And so that means that it has nothing to do with a clock or with time. So you go with degrees, minutes, and seconds, and that's one way that you can give a latitude and longitude. But sometimes we need to get even more exact than that. And then you just go to decimal portions of a second. So it, many people will just use degrees and a decimal portion of a degree. So instead of 45 degrees, 30 seconds, they'll just say 45.5 degrees. And that's perfectly fine. 